Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, for those of you who are atheists, for those of you who are agnostic, and for those of you who don't have a clue, do I have a story for you. This is a true story. Just recently happened. A man was in the hospital dying. An atheist. They sent the priest. He didn't respond to the, to the priest. While the priest and some of the other family members and some of the staff was close to the door and a few in the room, his eyes, the patient, his eyes got big. And they got big and he's, and he's almost climbing out of the bed and he's, he's using the sheets to douse the flames and he's hollering at the top of his lungs and he's ah! Ah! I mean he was freaking out the pain he was having was so crazy even the the, the priest what he didn't know what else to do but to help him douse the flames even though he didn't see any and he says it's been burning and burning well After the staff got inside trying to calm him down, poof, he dies. Now this is what I have to say about that. The one who told the story said this. A lot of people on their deathbed, by God's mercy, will get a preview of hell so they can see just how real and legitimate it is to give them a split second to change their heart and ask God for mercy. Because you know God, he forgives and he abundantly pardons. But this guy didn't do it. What, what the man, when he told the story, he said what God did with this man was he brought hell to him. He brought him a preview of what it was going to feel like. To give him a moment to cry out instead of hollering in pain. He could have cried out, Jesus, or oh God have mercy, something. It never dawned on him to pray. And he died, screaming at the top of his lungs, never getting relief from the flames. And the way he described them, he was hollering the flames. They're on my feet. They're coming up my legs. They're coming up my thighs. And I mean, he was screaming this. He wasn't just talking like I was. He was like a person literally burning in a building. And he could not get any relief. The screams, they were blood-curdling screams. It was so loud. People down the hall. In other areas were coming up to see, you know, what the fire was about. Is there a fire? That's how real that man felt it. And there was nothing on him but bed sheets, nothing. So for those of you who want to assume, you know what they taught us in elementary school, what assume made out of you and me, when you assume. Think about that man burning in those flames. Think about the man not only burning for the few moments before he passed away, dying like that, but living throughout eternity like that, never getting relief. Eternity, non-stop, never-ending torment, pain, excruciating agony I mean I mean I, I've been burnt you know a little boiling water a little hot thing touched me but I'm telling you it would take sometimes an hour for the stinging the burning sensation to go away imagine oh no don't even imagine it it's too horrendous just let's not take the chance Let's not play Russian roulette with eternity, please. Not with your soul. 